today we're going to go back to the concept of constitution, which is so, so important to understand in terms of how we cope with our lives, how we function, and um, our historical energy patterns. So constitution is really, really fascinating. And today we're going to look at a very, very profound concept of so above, so below, and the concept of spirit versus physical. We're going to look at heart power one, which is our most powerful constitutional formula for the soul energy, um, versus the cisterna Kylie heart power six. So we'll start now um, looking at constitution. Our logo is extremely important to understand um, because the logo represents the four quadrants of the heart, but also the concept of the relationship with our energy field and the rainbow, the colours of the rainbow. Constitution is absolutely fascinating because it ties up with our ancestry and goes back in time for hundreds and thousands and millions possibly of years. The origin of each of one of us our lives start the very moment that we are conceived. That is our spiritual starting point. And then we have this fascinating concept that we are um, individuals born of ancestry. But then when we have our first breath of life, that's the moment that we're born and severed, the umbilical cord is severed from our mothers so that we become individuals in our own right. So today we're going to discuss the concept of constitution again. First of all, we have five constitutional formulas. Um, we've already told you that um, we've discussed the heart power two spiritual calm for the tricuspid constitution, heart power three breathe freely for the pulmonary constitution. These two constitutions are supportive and related to the right side of the heart. And then we follow through to heart path four, emotional immunity, which is the mitral constitution. And our fifth formula, heart path five, structural integrity for the aortic constitution. And today we are going to discuss heart power one, peak vitality for the soul, for the soul formula, for the soul constitution. Looking at constitution, it is utterly, utterly fascinating. And it's Fabulous, because once you learn how to understand people and how to recognize a person's constitution, it becomes extraordinarily important in terms of how you help your patients recover from their own personal pathways and their own, their own illnesses. Our belief with phytobiophysics is that people fall ill when they've been brutally hurt, when things have gone wrong in their lives, when their emotional patterns have been disturbed, when people they love are hurt, when they lose contact with friends and, and relationships. And we've always believed that our health depends on our spiritual health and our spiritual wealth. How do you recognize a person's constitution? It is really, really fascinating that people present themselves in many, many ways. And once you understand that you can actually look at people and, and look at their physiology, you look at their appearance, you look at how they dress and how they approach you, you look at their body shapes, you observe how they walk and how they lean, how they talk, how they express themselves. Are they charming? Are they forthright? Are they aggressive? Are they um, bold? Are they confident? Are they warm and loving? Are they a bit sedentary and a little bit um, um, sort of lazy in their, in their ways? All these aspects of people um, present their personality, their character. And so often, going beyond character and personality, you see this astonishing constitution behind that. Understanding people is really fascinating. It's utterly wonderful to be able to see how people present themselves in terms of their natural inherited constitution. It, everything people choose is relative to how they are. And of course, you know, we all have very favorite colors. We, we might 
always have a wardrobe full of blue clothes or a wardrobe full of black clothes or even white clothes or particularly go into a shop and see thousands of different dresses and shirts and you always go for one particular color which is very very interesting but constitution relates to every aspect of a person's life their houses their lifestyles their friends their partners their careers their choices the way they address um, circumstances in their lives and there's something very very important to understand when you're looking after people and that is do never confuse constitution with what we refer to as the heart lock when people are hurt in a particular way that will impact on the way their heart beats and the constitution is not the heart lock it's how people deal with their lives and so today we're going to go really deep deep, deep into this concept of soul, the, the energy of inheritance, um, through an understanding of our very, very important formula called Heart Power One. Before we go any further, though, I've taught you all how to investigate where there is the weakest energy in the human body. And we use a very important point to investigate through our muscle testing, our electrical muscle test. And it is absolutely in the center of the septum. And this is called the heart center point. But in terms of the medical concept, heart center point is utterly related to an extraordinary little organ in the human body, which is called the bundle of his. The bundle of his, from a physical point of view, is quite simply the electrical conduction system of the heartbeat. It's extraordinary. It is the not the conductor of the orchestra at all. The bundle of his is the composer of the music, the composer of the life. It transmits impulses from the atrioventricular node located at the inferior end of the intraracial septum to the ventricles of the heart. And the bundle of his is extraordinary because it, it's responsible for the pulse, it's responsible for the heartbeat, it's responsible for the blood pressure, it's responsible for maintaining um, the systolic and diastolic pressure of the heart and ensuring that it remains stable and it's responsible for keeping us alive. It is extremely interesting that the bundle of his will always support us in every single way by triggering and activating higher and lower blood pressure. Going back to this concept of constitution, I'm always so fascinated by it because when you imagine how many billions of people there are in the world, and I think it's now coming up to 8 billion, um, it's possible to look at every single person in the whole world as having a completely individual personality. The extraordinary thing is that we are all different and yet and yet we do have patterns and these extraordinary patterns relate to archetype, the archetype constitution relative often um, to the position in the family, relative to male and female, relative to age, relative to the pathway of life, the Fibonacci code of life, the extraordinary um, concept of cell division and, and development and growth of a tiny, tiny newborn, um, the way they develop all their personalities as they grow older. And concept of, of the heart lock theory is absolutely fascinating because we always look at this concept of the heart as the fulcrum of our lives. So let's look at these five archetypes again, the family and the heart. Heart center point is so complex because everything that happens to us, every single event, every single memory, every single experience will manifest as a subtle memory in the bundle of his. It is an extraordinary organ. And although it's referred to as the conductor of the heart beat, the pump of the heart in physical point of view, we actually believe that the bundle of his is one of the most sacred parts of our brain. It's one of the most sacred 
aspects of our lives and we believe that it is our link with God and our spiritual belief systems, our faith, our love. And one of the words that we absolutely believe in is this concept of agape. Agape or agape is um, the extraordinary, extraordinary depth of love that we feel for our own mother and our own father and our own um beloved little babies when they come into the world and we fall in love with this little newborn that is my child my son my daughter agape my love but then we have this incredible concept in life that we have this cross that the spiritual relationship with the past that goes back and back and back in time for hundreds and thousands of years, the memories of the past, the infinity of the past. But we also have this concept of the infinity of the future. And the future is our what we leave on this planet in the term of our belief systems, our, our mark, if you like. And that can also be our future through our babies and our children and the children that we love and look after, the stories that we tell, the books that we write, the, the histories that we create, the friends that we make, and here we have this other concept of infinity, which is the cross, um, which is actually the choices of friends, the choices of love, the lovers, the, the husbands, the wives, the, the, the best friends that start really very early on in our lives. And often these best friends follow us for the rest of our lives. So Heart Center Point is really extraordinary. It's like the top of the pyramid of our soul. And it's so fascinating that when we do a muscle test in the clear, when the body is in compensation, it's often quite strong. But if there is any disturbance in the human body, any disturbance in the soul, any disturbance anywhere in the body, we will find the weakness when we make contact with heart center point. In case of the test, it's sometimes fine, it's difficult to find that little point. So when we ask a practitioner to learn this concept of testing of heart center point, we often use the end of the palm and it's placed right on the center of the heart. And that is then tested as the weakest point. Once we've established that weakness, we then move on to triage to work out where in the heart that breakdown is relative to. First of all, the upper right quadrant, and then the lower right quadrant, the upper left quadrant, and the lower left quadrant. And we look at this extraordinary pyramid, this pyramid of love, with the center point above the bundle of his and above through the, the center of the septum and this extraordinary peak of the pyramid of our soul, if you like, um, is relative to um, each relationship that we have in our lives. We refer to the upper right quadrant as the father, the male, the husband, our male relationships, the male RNA um, quadrant of the human body because we have male quadrants, we have um, the yang, if you like, um, often referred to as the yang energy in our bodies, the male energy, which is relative to the power and the control of the brain, the left brain, the eyesight, the superior sight, the spinal cord, um, the liver, the gallbladder, the um, digestive tract through the stomach, and the pancreas and the pancreatic um, support of the human body, the energy exchange. When we look at the son of father, the little yang, the boy, the youth, and the, and the male child, or the, the male uh, yang experience of growth, which is puberty, um, this extraordinary energy is, is relative to the pulmonary valve of the heart. This incredible energy is all about the pumping, the systolic pumping of the, of, of the blood from the lower ventricle up into the lungs. Incredible energy of the yang energy of the yang child, the little yang. And then we look across on the left side of the human body, the left side of the heart, 
the mitral constitution, the female, the wife, the mother, our mother, my mother, my motherhood, myself as a woman, alternatively, if a male, my male relationship with my female side of the body, the yin side of my body. And this is an extraordinary energy because it's the energy of the love of storage. And the child of the yin, the little yin, is the child of mother, the baby, the girl, the sister, the daughter, but is also the male baby. Um, the little baby. So the phase of yin, little yin, is babyhood. The phase of little yang is youth. The phase of upper um, large yin is motherhood and maturity. And the phase of large yang is the male relationship, father, husband, and um, power. So the pyramid of love is extraordinarily important to understand in terms of relationships. And again, if we just go back to the previous um, slide, um, very quickly, is it that one? No, probably move forward. I'm so sorry. Um, the five archetypes. Well, we've sort of covered this quite a lot. And so we just look here again at the concept of the tricuspid being large yang, the father, the little yang is pulmonary, the child, the grandson, the youth, or the child of yang. And then mitral is the yin, the large yin on the left side. And then again, the little yin is the daughter, the baby, the child of yin. Intriguing. Let us now look at this extremely important and extremely powerful heart power formula. Heart power one, peak vitality is made of trees and sacred plants from literally all over the world that have been gathered to create a powerful formula that is probably the most powerful of all our formulas. All the phytobiophysics formulas that have been um, researched and created and all that power has gone into this formula because this is the formula to support us when we have been brutally wounded. It's the formula for the cardiovascular system. It's the formula for the soul constitution. It's the fo formula for this heart center point that we've been referring to, the white star in the center of the heart, spiritual love, spiritual leaders. Interestingly enough, if we look at this as a constitutional formula, then we would be looking at the constitution of, of uh, the spiritual leader the person who has been gifted with spiritual wisdom and is often the leader in the, in, in the concept of relation, relationships and um, religions could be the very, very senior member of the family who is actually the, um, the, the matriarch, if you like, or the um, spiritual power leader. So there are many people in the world who are... Um, heart power one, um, peak vitality, so constitutional people, and they're often teachers, the teachers of the world. But let's look at this word agape, God love. Again, I want to look at it. You hear awful things that happen in the world, terrible accidents, terrible, terrible loss of life through um, tsunamis, fires, um, ghastly, ghastly experiences. Recently, a building block literally collapsed in Miami and people were literally killed. And that you hear about these desperate situations and it's terrifying and heartbreaking. And your soul goes out to the mothers. It's like starving babies in, in countries in Africa where there's drought. But it isn't your child. And you can say, oh, how terrible, and be terribly moved by it. You might even cry. But then five minutes later, you're having a lunch party and your family will arrive and, and you completely forget about that tragedy. But if that was one of your children, if it was your husband who just died, or your mother or your father, that is a very different matter. People often say to me, oh, I don't really believe in God. 
well, I'm not religious, but we are all religious. We all have this incredible ability to love. And love is really basically um, our ability to understand that there's a greater force that controls our lives. And regardless of what we believe in, we do believe in love. So agape is our spiritual relationships of the people who are most important in our lives, our most powerful relationships. And I suppose that's the easiest way to describe when we need this formula is because we have been brutally, brutally hurt um, through loss, heartbreak, rejection, pain, grief, sorrow, suffering, whatever. It is extremely easy to understand when we look at it from that perspective. So that star, what color is agape? What color is heart center point? It's white light. When you shine white light through the prism of a raindrop, it manifests as the most beautiful rainbow. All the colors, every single color that our souls need, every single color that our cells need, we are light beings and our cells vibrate on the frequency of these colors. So whilst white light is our most profound and important energy, it starbursts into all the different levels, all the different chakra systems, all the different shades. And so this is why often we use Heart Power One with other formulas, um, other essential formulas. It could be any one of the formulas, it is, there's not one formula. Heart power one can be responsible for the support of any of the quadrants of the heart, regardless. But it's interesting that it often, if it's the trauma and tragedy of loss of a husband or a father, it's often the upper right quadrant. We need the purple formulas, the violet formulas, the ultraviolet formulas, the yellow formulas. If it's a child, a youth child, that is lost or um, is, is denied to us, then in fact, it would be the green energy that we need, um, the beautiful pulmonary breathing energy of the plants. If it's a loss of a mother or mother love, then it's indigo and blue and orange are the colors that we need. And again, the formulas that vibrate on those frequencies. And if it's baby, then it's red and red, and it's red and it goes deep, deep, deep into infrared. All the colors, all the levels. One of the interesting um, aspects of this Heart Power One is that we go beyond into the rainbow and we go down into gold light and right the way down into silver light. Only twice in my life have I been privileged to see a rainbow that had gold and silver around it, this incredible aura of gold and silver. And both times the experience was an exquisite experience of extraordinary, extraordinary guidance, spiritual guidance, and if, if you like, almost like a calling. Our most powerful tree formula is very interesting. It's called peak performance. It's our rainbow formula. It's the formula that relates to the cardiovascular system, the governor meridian, the conception meridian, the heart meridian, the lung meridian. It is for our energy, it's for vitality, it's for neurotransmission, conception, love trauma, DNA, RNA support. And there's no doubt whatsoever that these Two formulas, Heart Power One and Super Fit One Peak Performance, are really, really important in modern society, particularly, particularly when there has been very serious um, DNA mitral damage. This interesting formula is also one of the most intriguing formulas that we often use for little children when they suffer with serious complexities like autism and um, brain damage. The opposite end of the scale of the rainbow, the extraordinary exquisite energy of gold 
is our extremely interesting and powerful infinite formula called Superfit 10 Injury. This incredible formula vibrates on the frequency of 111 nanometers, silver birch, ponderosa pine. This is one of the most interesting formulas in terms of supporting us when we've been hurt spiritually. So it's the connective tissue, the, the healing of the, of, the, of the physical soft tissue of the human body for healing wounds, for healing the lacuna in the eyes. If you look at, if you studied neuroptics, iridology, you'll see that we actually um, suffer physically when we've been wounded spiritually. This manifests as scars and wounds and lacuna in the eyes. The eyes, of course, being the soul of the human body, we can look into the soul. What is so extraordinary is that we have a memory of these scars. We have a memory of these wounds, but we don't always differentiate between spiritual and physical wounds. There is often this extraordinary concept that wounding in the human body is, is we often think that it's a physical wound that we remember, but oh, well, it is much easier to heal physical wounds than it is to heal spiritual wounds. One of the most extraordinary things about this formula that I've noticed is this amazing, extraordinary healing of the spiritual lacuna in the eyes. I've never seen this happen with anything else, but this formula, this infinite energy of 111 has been gifted to us in the most incredible way. One other aspect about this formula, which is really, really important, especially in modern society, is that we are faced with very high levels of radioactivity, radiation, low emission radiation, 5G, 4G, um, computers, I mean, wonderful, extraordinary things that they are, they do have effect on our neurotransmission, and there's no doubt about this. I'm finding that people are needing this formula more and more and more on a very deep level to um, negate some of the side effects of neurotransmission. So let's look again at heart power one, peak vitality for the spiritual journey, for the soul journey, faith and belief, soul energy, religion, spiritual insight, the very core of our being, the very core of our soul, memory, ancestral inheritance, perception, from infinity of the ancestors to the infinity of the future, preconception to now and the whole of our lives. What harms this incredible spiritual plane? We've already discussed tragedies such as death and loss of our loved ones, shock, shock, falling over, hurting ourselves, operations, betrayal, void of love, miasm, ancestral inheritance of taint, children born with birth defects, ancestral taints, deep tragedy during childhood, operations, wounds, and accidents. And what does that cause? It causes degenerative disease, AIDS, cancers, leukemias, terrible, terrible illnesses, viruses, brain damage, sterility, breakdown of the human body, disease, and ultimately death. Shock, grief, sh shocking diagnosis, trauma with children, accident, tragedy, war, loss of freedom, loss of hope, loss of future, virus and viruses can be viruses in our soul and viruses in our hearts and viruses are massively complex and there are really we are all in the whole world is suffering with the grip of terrifying viruses as we speak we go back always to this incredible map the upper right quadrant, fatherhood. The lower right quadrant, youth. The upper left quadrant, motherhood, femininity, woman, wife, 
my wife, my woman, my mother, my mistress, etc., etc. And then the lower left quadrant, the yin, the baby yin, the little girl, the daughter, the sister, the baby. We've upgraded this formula. We've upgraded this formula with all the research that we did in this incredible research that we did in Gunung Mulo recently. We've upgraded, we've upgraded, we're constantly upgrading. And so this is very, very exciting that wherever we go, wherever we, whatever we do with our lives, but all the research that we're doing, all the knowledge that we receive on a daily basis, this is what is one of the most exciting and the most extraordinary aspects of vibrational, working with the vibration of plants. Every aspect of our research is constantly being used to upgrade our formulas. And fundamentally, the most interesting aspect of these formulas is that they support the sensory organs. And this formula supports the sensory organ of smell. One of the most intriguing aspects of the understanding of the vibration of our souls is the way we relate to our lives through our sensory organs. The most powerful, the most important survival mechanism, the first of the sensory organs to be developed in the human brain is actually the olfactory nerve. And the olfactory nerve is the sense of smell, the first cranial nerve. And this is the cranial nerve that controls the heart meridian. So you can understand that this is an extraordinarily important formula.